been speaking to numerous singers, entertainers and all round good eggs of uh, the uh, arts since uh, the lockdown and all the rest of it. I'm delighted to uh, say hello to a lady who's released a couple of albums. She uh, does her own performances, also uh, sings uh, uh, with her own band and uh, making a big a big impression, a lot of notice being taken and released a, a brand new song which she's uh, written. I'm delighted to welcome from her home in Newtown, Stewart in County Tyrone, Patricia Maguire. Patricia, how are you? I'm not too bad, Jerry. Thank you very much for having me here today. It's a real pleasure, a real pleasure, Patricia. Uh, you're, uh, you, you were doing great guns. You'd recorded a couple of albums and videos and all the rest of it, making a, a great impression in music. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm trying my best. And I, you know, I just, I really enjoy the music, and it's, uh, it's great to just, you know, keep tearing away at it. And if people enjoy it, then you know, I'm delighted. But yeah, I've got three albums out there now at the minute, and two of them went to number one. You know, so. I mean, as a singer, it doesn't, you know, get much better than that for me. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, things are going uh, pretty well, thank, thankfully. <laughs> that's excellent. That's excellent. I mean, you, you were also busy uh, working with a, a band and also doing your uh, working, uh, doing solo work uh, before all of this. Yes, uh, the diary was so full, Jerry, and I was so thankful and grateful, you know. Um, obviously, because of this uh, coronavirus, and uh, it has come to a bit of a standstill at the minute, but... I mean, the diary was full, yeah. Um, we had a lot of weddings uh, in the diary and we were really busy, you know, and, and I was doing my own thing, um, concerts during the week. You know, I was, I was doing a, a good four gigs a week, which was, you know, which was, was really good. And uh, obviously, because of uh, COVID-19, um, it has put an end to all that. But um, the only good thing about it is that, you know, nearly almost everything was rescheduled till next year. So, you know, hopefully all been well if, if, if things... Um, start to calm down and and it is safe to do so it'll be great to get back out and you know be super busy next year indeed you know? indeed so indeed so uh, yeah. that's right you did three three albums uh, my Dixie Darling it must be love and also the uh, the truck driving woman uh, album yeah. that's it that's the three albums yeah Right. Now, you've also done an interesting one. You did a recording. It was actually a superb uh, uh, production and, and uh, version of the old classic favourite, The Golden Jubilee. Yes, so i actually done that. Do you know, I, 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 don't, I, I just recorded it just, just before uh, coronavirus and um, it was going down really well. But I suppose the unfortunate thing is that I can't, haven't yet got singing it live, you know, to... But, um, I mean, it, it has went down well and it was just a, a kind of... I sort of just took it, it's a really old song, I took it on and, and sort of made it my own and um, added a wee reel in at the end or a wee jig in at the end and it, it sort of just livened it up, you know, and it, it, it was going well. And the video um, is on YouTube, you know, and it, it seems to be going down well, people enjoy it, you know, it's, it's uh, there's a, a bit of comedy to it, I suppose, as well. <laughs> That's right, yes, yeah, there's that little bit of comedy aspect, I think, which uh, which helps the whole situation uh, along, you know, but it, but it has, it's it received a great reaction. I have got a great reaction, you know. I, you know, I'm so thankful to have so many, you know, kind followers and, and fans of, on Facebook and, and people just following me in general. You know, they're amazing. They, they the people who follow me are the people who drive me on. You know, to to do to do these things. Indeed, indeed, that's the uh, uh, that's the thing. You certainly, uh, you know, you certainly have uh, have got that. And uh, interesting thing, I've said this before, but there are a number of uh, up until the, the the shutdown, there were quite a number of female artists breaking through, uh, uh, like yourself and Bernie Heaney and Sabrina Fallon and Olivia Douglas and yeah. Michelle Murphy and numerous other people like that who were actually uh, really breaking through in music. Uh huh. That's it. You know, I suppose it's unfortunate again because of this um, shutdown and stuff. But I mean, yeah, the girls are doing great, and it's it's fantastic to see it. You know, because obviously, as everyone knows, sometimes girls can struggle in the scene. And I mean, it's great to have, you know, to to see that that girls are doing great in it. And you know, and and they're some producing some great stuff. You know, indeed, indeed, very much so. I mean, uh, uh, you know, to each other as well. Indeed, so. Indeed, so. Uh huh. Uh huh. There's uh-huh. a, I, I notice, I mean, I know it's on, on YouTube, I mean, you are getting some huge views on uh, YouTube. For example, my Dixie Darling, 82,000 views. Yeah, I well. I think Truck Driven Woman has something like 600 and something thousand, you know, so. It yeah, does, yes. It's doing, well. uh-huh, it's doing well too, so. I mean, that is, yeah, 663,000 uh, views of Truck Driving Woman. That is astounding. Uh-huh. Like that is that's crazy. I I never would have thought, you know, whenever I released that song, like I never ever dreamt that that's how well it would, you know, have went. But um, I suppose there's a lot of truckers out there who you'd kind of relate it to, you know, and that's I suppose that's what people like about songs, something that they can relate to, and 
you know, something they can they can um, connect with. Indeed, indeed. Now, you, listen, you've you've uh, you've released a, a a single. It was a brand new single, uh, which you actually wrote. Brighter weather. It's just released a few days at this stage. Yes, that's it. Um, actually, it's my first ever song. You know, um, that I that I wrote myself. Um, it, uh, do you know this? I was sitting watching TV one night. It was quite late. My mum was in bed, and I was sort of just sitting watching TV, and I, I just got this urge to write something about how I felt about this whole. You know this whole situation that that everybody's in, and the, the the issues that it's causing, and the issues you know that we're all facing. And I just sort of put pen to paper, and I was I was pleased with the outcome. You know, it, it was um in my age, in my opinion, it was a a poem. You know, and, and I came I read it to my granny and granda, and they absolutely loved it. And then and then I thought, you know, maybe we could do something with this. You know, and I brought it down to Brian Kerrigan, and myself and Brian sort of rustled up something, and that's what we came up with. You know, and I mean. It's, I'm, I'm actually very proud of the outcome, you know, and, and the reaction that it's getting. And, uh, you know, and it's just quite a simple, simple track and a simple, you know, uh, the, the lyrics are quite simple. But again, people can connect with them, you know, and uh, I'm very, very pleased with how well it's going down, you know. Indeed so. Yeah, I'm, I must say I'm getting great reaction here uh, to it. And it really, really is uh, going a storm. Well done. Uh, well done Thank on that. And out of something which, uh, uh, you, you know, that uh, was a sort of a spur of the moment type thing, and uh, uh, you then uh, it was then put together. The interesting thing, yeah, uh, uh, I said this to a number of artists before, is that it was actually all done remotely. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's it's funny how you just you know these things come to your head and you just write it down. You know, and it's I don't know, it's it's funny. But now you know, you know, because of this whole shutdown and stuff, obviously we're trying to to do things to keep busy. You know, you don't get lying about much in my house with my mum anyway. Like, but, um, <laughs> but now, now they've got the time. You know, I might start. Um, I'm going to try a few more different songs. You know, and see what I can come up with. Um, and try and go down that route a wee bit more. You know. Indeed, so why not? I mean, this is certainly uh, this is certainly a very good start. Uh, well done on it. You know, that's that's absolutely uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, and uh, need, needless to say, you're you're not uh, you're not really going to be able to shoot a video or anything for the song with the uh, way things are. Oh, no, well, that's it too, yes. I mean, um, the, the the video is on Facebook, but I mean, it was done from our houses, you know, so <laughs> it was sort of just put together, you know, and it, to be fair, it looks as if we're all, you know, but we're actually all in our, you know, our own homes and they were, you know, it was recorded, um, you know, very safely and stuff, you know, so um, I, I suppose, you know, all right, this is the situation we're in, but if you can make music like that um, and you're able to do it safely, then it's great, you know. Indeed it is, it is, and uh, uh, thankfully, in the times that we've got, uh, that we've got the, uh, uh, you know, got the technology, uh, which uh, prior to this wasn't uh, generally available until this recent uh, number of years. Well, that's it, you know, I, I often think about, you know, the likes of Philomena Begley and Daniel O'Donnell, and I think how, you know, it must have been so such hard, you know, work to to get your name out there when all you really had was radio, you know, and but like now you were so blessed to have... Facebook and YouTube and you know all these you know and radio as well obviously and it's, it's, it's we're, we're very blessed to be able to you know put these things together and, and get it out there for people to see but do it very safely you know indeed so indeed so and uh, the world the world has uh, the world has gone uh, very very technical and very much online with uh, all of the various uh, forums and indeed uh, uh, with the uh, the latest uh, pandemic it uh, really has taken on a life of its own. It has exactly. It's most people are sitting at home and they're, you know, what else have they got? You know, other than, you know, the likes of Facebook and catching up with um, what other singers are doing in lockdown. I mean, it's, I think it's fantastic. Like, I got um, my grand and granda an old phone of mine and sort of set them up on Facebook so that they could, you know, I suppose watch maths and, uh, you know, listen to live, you know, all the singers going live. And I mean, it's great that, that the singers can entertain people like my grand and granda who, you know, who love music, but, you know, and they, they can get to see them on Facebook and, and, and listen to them, you know, and I mean, that's amazing, but it makes this whole situation a lot easier. Indeed you know, so. For everybody. Indeed mm-hmm. so. Definitely, definitely does. And it's something which, uh, you know, something which is a, a major, major help. I know that from, uh, from you know, speaking to so many people that it, that it is. Uh, so uh, basically, you're not doing, uh, you're, needless to say, the same as the rest, you're not doing any uh, live shows. But uh, planning planning ahead for hopefully when we all come out the other side, you'll be a, a busy lass. Yes, well, I think the, um, the band itself has something like 111, 112 weddings and for next year already, you know, in its early days. Yes, you know, so... 
I mean, fingers crossed, they are, you know, it's, it's safe enough to continue with those weddings and, and like I'm just really looking forward to getting back out again, you know. Um I, I think the um the twenty twenty diary was a bit of a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I give it you can't be sent can't be sent back at this stage. Boss. No, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But Patricia sure can laugh about it and that's the main thing. <laughs> indeed so, indeed so. <laughs> Patricia, listen, it's been lovely to catch up with you. Thank you very much indeed for uh, for joining me. Listen, I wish you continued success. I wish you all the luck in the world. Uh, you've got plenty more mileage yeah. left in the, uh, the latest single. And uh, it's been lovely to, uh, lovely to catch up with you. Lovely to speak to you, Patricia. Thank you very much, Jerry, for having me. And I'd like to thank all your listeners as well for all their um, loyal support and and I hope everybody's keeping safe and well um, during these um, this current situation. And thank you very much once again, Jerry, for having me.